and welcome back to our channel and welcome to episode 8. In this episode we're going to be building the bed, so that includes the frame and also the separators under it. It sounds easy but I'm sure it's not going to be, so keep on watching. So after a bit of struggling, we finally got our bed platform into the van. This may not be the final positioning of the bed platform, we just wanted to get it in here. Uh, we wanted to test out the height of it to see if we should either raise it or lower it. And we also wanted to test out the width of the bed. Right now we just have one sheet of plywood which is 48 inches wide. Uh, we wanted to see if that would be good enough. Uh, if not, then we'll just add an extra 6 inch plywood at the front here just to give us a bit more space to sleep. So we're going to mull over a few things, we're going to think about uh, if it's a good position, if it's good width. And then tomorrow we're actually going to put some proper supports under the edges. We're going to add um, proper supports and dividers underneath the platform. And then it'll start taking shape all the storage space that's under the bed. So we brought in the mattress that we use in the minivan because we're probably going to get one pretty much the same thickness for this bed. We just wanted to test out the height of it. And we think our bed is a little bit too high. Uh, if I sit up pretty straight, my head is uh, pretty much right on the ceiling, so I don't think it's going to work at this height. 
plus my feet barely touch the ground. So we'll probably lower the bed down by uh, one to two inches. And we also decided that we will extend the bed uh, fully to 54 inches wide, just to give us some more sleeping space and some more storage under the bed. So we're gonna make those modifications now, and then we can start building all the compartments underneath the bed. We dropped the bed by two inches and it works so much better. I actually have some clearance above my head now when I'm sitting straight up, which is perfect. So this gives us 11 and a half inches of clearance space uh, below the bed, which uh, we think is good enough to store everything that we need to store under there. So uh, we think this position is perfect. We came up with the final design for the separators that are going to be under the bed. So we're going to have a big main separator uh, right here, separating the front section from the back storage section. And then this middle separator is going to be the one dividing uh, two uh, drawers. So we're going to have two drawers, one on each side of it. So we just laid them on here to give us and you guys an idea of what it's going to look like underneath the bed. Um, so I think we're ready to install them right now. So let's go ahead and do that. We just added two more separators here and here, and these are basically going to contain our drawers that we're going to be putting in next. These two compartments are going to have drawers in them, and this compartment over here is just going to have our two batteries. We reused a bunch of plywood from the previous owner's build, and that's why it looks so ugly, but uh, none of it is going to be visible in the final build, so we don't really care about uh, using ugly plywood right now. <laughs> so we finished building this drawer. We didn't film any of it because we weren't sure it was going to work. We had in mind an idea that we wanted to try out. So we wanted the, the drawer to self-lock. And that's because with the old van, we would sometimes forget to lock the drawer and they would slide out as we were driving, which sometimes broke them. So we decided to build a self-locking drawers, which it actually works. You have to go for a little minutes and then open and pull back. So that's what we wanted to try before actually filming any of it because we weren't sure it was going to work. So now that we know, we'll show you how we built this drawer. We built our second drawer and it slides in and out pretty well and now it's time to put on the front panels. And if you're wondering what we're using for the front panels, we're basically just using some spare ceiling panels that we had. Uh, we split them down the middle. We also took off the little tongue on this side and it gives us nice little panels. So now it's time to attach our latch and our panels onto the front of our drawers. And what we're using for the latch is basically one of those handles that you see on porch doors. 
So basically we install it on the bottom of our drawer like this and this is basically the latch that's going to catch it and this we install on the ground so when our drawer comes in it latches in like this on the underside. I'll show you how we're doing it uh, as we install it. This is the stopper that's obviously going to stop our door from sliding out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide him back to where he touches the latch part. And then we'll know that that's where he has to be and we'll mark him and then drill him in. Moment of truth. almost done our bed structure. We have the full surface in, we have our drawers in, we have our dividers in, and the last thing we have to do is actually cut a hole in it, <laughs> which sounds counterintuitive, but I'll explain why. We mentioned earlier that this is where we're going to be storing our batteries. So they look like they would be accessible, but the thing is when we finalize the build, this is going to be our whole kitchen area. So there's actually going to be a wall separating here, which means we wouldn't be able to slide in and out the batteries from this angle. So what we have to do is cut out the top and create basically a trap door. So we're going to put some hinges on there and we'll be able to lift this up and access the batteries from the top. We've pretty much completed the entire bed structure. We have our two self-locking drawers. We have the storage compartment for our batteries. And we also have all the extra storage space that's in the trunk. So just like with the walls, we're pretty much going to wait until the end of the build to do all the final touch-ups. Uh, like little paint jobs, uh, trimmings, moldings, that kind of stuff. 
And you can see down here, it's still kind of open where our batteries are going to be stored. Um, but next episode, episode 9, we're going to be building the cabinet space of our kitchen, which is going to go right here. And of course, that's going to end up blocking and covering this section here. So stay tuned for episode 9. Thank you all again so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about what we've done, please don't hesitate. Ask them in the comments. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.